Oscar preps are underway. I know who may have an idea, though, is uh, Jan Wall. She is here to talk Oscar memorabilia with us. Hi, Jan. Hi, John. Hi, Michelle. There's no excuse for those people not to look fabulous Monday night. I can't wait. That's one of my favorite parts is what they wear. It's a chance to see their taste for once. Moving right along, I've been collecting movie memorabilia since I was a kid. It started out with these. This is an old fo uh, movie story magazine and a photo play. This is Cary Grant and uh, Irene Dunn on the cover from Penny Serenade, one of the great films of all time. And this is Greta Garbo on the cover, I Want to Be Alone. I love these. They have great old ads, great stories. Anyway, I've only dreamed of the kind of movie memorabilia our guest owns. It's expensive, it's one of a kind, and his name is John Malanga. By day, John is a laser disc distributor, but his real passion is collecting movie memorabilia. Welcome to the show, John. Hi, Jan. How are you doing? Oh, you brought some wonderful things with you, and they're all Oscar uh, winners, basically. Much, We've got yeah. Oscar winners. Right. Let's ta start looking at the one sheets. One sheets are movie posters, 27 by 41. They're hard to come by, and they're very expensive, especially because you've had them restored and framed. Beautiful. Let's start with the first one, a movie that won all the big Oscars, right? Right. Best picture, best director, actress, actor. actor. Right. Nobody did it since, right? Well, uh, Except cuckoo's one. Nest, well, yeah. One flew over the cuckoo's nest, right. broke it. But it's, it's happened one night. It's a great film by Frank Capra. That's Claudette Colbert and, the, and Clark Gable. And how much would a poster like this be with, John? It's hard to find this one. Uh, this is very rare, but it, it um, may be eight, twelve thousand, something like that. Okay, let's move along to the great Ziegfeld. Louise Rainier won this one for Best Actress. She right. won two in a row, which some yeah. people say Tom Hanks will do. That's uh, right. Well, and also, uh, the great Ziegfeld uh, won Best, best Picture. picture. Right. And this is a beautiful poster, huh? Yeah. There's the Hitchcock movie. Right, Rebecca, best uh, best picture. Uh, I, we thought maybe Joan Fontaine had won for this one, right. but she won for Suspicion. Right. right? Um, how much would this one be worth about, Rebecca? Because first of all, you got your cult status with it being a Hitchcock. Exactly. Well, the Hitchcock and the best picture um, add to the value, but you know, I'm not really good on the prices. It yeah, could be 12000 it could be 8000 I don't really I'm know. better at prices because I used to sell these <laughs> right. things. Now, where do you find them, John? Where do you find this beautiful uh, material? Lately, I've been getting them at auctions. Mm -hmm. That's where the, the, the good stuff is. Uh, I used to get them at the poster exchanges when they were $4 a piece. In the old days, <laughs> right, and now they're not. The old days from 1972. That's when I started, uh, and uh, I, I, Jose Carpio at Cinemond. Uh, he mm -hmm. was very There's helpful in getting me. Right. Let's get to a few more things now. Jezebel. Let's look at Jezebel. There it is. Look at the eyes. Look at the work in the in this beautiful picture. See today. What's different about movie posters today? What are they missing that these ones have? Well, class. Class, you got it, babe. Okay, let's look at Casablanca. Here it is, the biggie. The original poster, Casablanca. You're looking at something very rare, right? Yeah, this style is, is probably the, the, one of the better pieces uh, for the movie. The one sheet is, a, is basically newspaper, uh, black and white, maybe some maroon. Mm -hmm. uh, colorful ones are more desirable. Uh, but and Wizard of Oz, this is a real great one to have. I'd put this at about 20 grand, wouldn't Somewhere you? Somewhere in that area. Yeah. It's really something exciting. And the last one we'll look at is Gone with the Wind. This is the insert. That's the size of this one. It's gorgeous. If you can find this anywhere, folks, pick it up. <laughs> it's probably in the 20 grand area, too. And then you've got some other things right here. We have a beautiful All About Eve. All About Eve. Uh, this is Belgian, though. It's mm -hmm. not American, and they Great just color. called it Eve. Great color. Better artwork than the American poster. Okay. If you could have any piece of memorabilia, I'd like uh, Stanley Kowalski, is by, played by Marlon Brando, in uh, I'd like his torn t-shirt yeah. from Streetcar Named Desire. What would you like to own? Jen, I want it all. Yeah, I want it all. <laughs> all right. Thank you for bringing a little bit of You're Hollywood welcome. magic to us and Oscar magic. I'll see you all soon. Hooray for Hollywood and thanks for being with us, John Malanga. All right.